All right, thanks for joining us. Today we're gonna to talk about getting rid of rust on a wheel. So see that rust build up in the corners? We're gonna get rid of all of that and make this wheel look much better. This is off of a Land Cruiser, an FJ6062. Um, here's what I'm gonna be using today. So of course a drill, a Powerball wire wheel. So you can either buy just the wire wheel in a single pack or you can get this big pack which will have like a sandpaper wheel and, and a, like a circulating brush down here. There we go. So, um, you know, 15 bucks versus four bucks, your choice. And then of course we're gonna use some wool, um, get that brush to get in the fine corners. And then in my previous video, uh, on aluminum wheels we tested a whole bunch of products and these were by far my two favorite that went the best just edging out the mothers you'll notice I don't have any mothers here because these were better so I just want to say thanks on the previous video so definitely like if this has helped you subscribe if you want to see other cool you know automotive videos on how to clean up stuff but when you like it it helps um, let me show you real quick the other wheels I did um, in the previous video. Okay, so here they are. This is Mickey Thompson. This is a aluminum wheel that you polish up a little bit different than that other wheel that's chrome. And some people might say, no, that other wheel is aluminum. No, believe me, it's chrome. It's old school 1980s chrome. It is so thick, that's why I can take the wire brush to it. And then I even have another video on painting a wheel. So check that out. That's using DupliColor. That's to go on a wheel that's painted, right? So there is no polishing or, or needed on this wheel. It wasn't aluminum, it wasn't a mag, it was a painted wheel like most modern wheels are. So when you wanna refresh those, you paint. When you wanna refresh aluminum wheels, you polish. And then on chrome, you also polish. And just something cool, just to prove that the other wheel is chrome and this one is aluminum. Look, when you put on that product, see here, watch, it's gonna go black. See, it starts picking up that tarnish, even though this is super polished, this wheel, no matter how many times you put that on, it's gonna keep doing that, making that black tarnish if that camera's picking it up. And then you wipe it off to polish. But what's pretty funny is that video that I did of this wheel, it was actually um, posted and it was getting three, four views a day. Then it, people started liking it, it picked up. Now it gets like hundreds of views per day and helping out lots of people. So please like the video if it really did help you and subscribe, that will help this video come up in the searches. And I will include a link for both polishing, because those wheels came a long way, and same thing with these, and painting your wheel. I'll post those both in the description and also a link at the end of this video or if you subscribe you can get them right away but on to working on that rusted wheel and barking in the background is my lovely assistant chloe the shetland sheepdog say hi to everybody and remind them to like and subscribe yes we agree okay back to the wheel let's get working on it okay first this wheel has been washed it's chrome, so it's soap and water is all. Um, but look, I'm gonna first take the the um, brass brush. And you can see, as I'm scrubbing that, I'm not really getting anywhere. I'm gonna have to do that a long time. In this little, little crease here, I think it's good to go over it quickly like that, where it's gonna be harder to get to. But this big area, it's not really doing much, you know? And if you think about it, the wheel, I'm not gonna destroy the wheel. I'm not gonna ruin it taking the rust off. It already is ruined. So, and you know, there's that tin foil, there's the Coke. I'd put that in another video. Doesn't work, I mean, it doesn't work at all. So you gotta use um, power. So let's get the drill and the wire brush and see what that does. Okay, wire wheel time. Brand new wire wheel. Let's see how she does. See that already? Amazing. And 
you know, the, the chrome, I guess as years went by, whatever they used in the 80s, this stuff is like steel armor plated. It's unbelievable. And then, you know, with this wheel, you can just lightly go over some of these spots. You can see the rust just flying off. So I'm going to finish this off. I got to finesse around that uh, um, valve cover. So I might need that brush to do a little bit there. But look how that just wire brushed it completely off. Pretty amazing. So don't be scared to use this, use this on the wheel. And uh, let's take a look on the inside here in a second. I'm just going to finish the outside. We'll take a look at the inside, which has got a lot of rust. And we'll see how we get that off. Okay, so now I like the the blue magic. As you can see here, it says for chrome and aluminum and mags. So we've done this on the chrome already. I like to have a black glove on and that way I can evenly spread out, spread around the, uh, the polishing cream and then I'll just take lightly a steel wool. There's quadruple zero, triple zero. I like the double zero, you know, so it can actually get in there and do something meaningful. And notice compared to the other wheel, there's no black coming up. And the reason why these are chrome plated. So you're not gonna get any of that tarnishing because these are not aluminum wheels whatsoever, no black which makes life easier, right? It's just a matter of getting that rust off. Aluminum doesn't rust. Steel wheels or, you know, whatever the, the metal is underneath this chrome bit done at the manufacturer level. That's why it's so amazingly thick. Um, is such that it's gonna rust. That's why you get the rust on these type of wheels. But when it's old school, boy oh boy, that rust comes right off and the way I look at it couldn't have been any worse all right we'll give it uh, you know we don't need a mother's actually on this now that I think about it it's not polishing a aluminum wheel we're just gonna use our trusty good old here we go microfiber all right okay I just finished giving it a hand polish that literally took me 40 seconds so it's so quick so doing these wheels compared to polishing wheels, which is a huge job when you polish aluminum, this is easy. I mean, it's like a painted rim when it's chrome, shines right up real quick. In fact, it doesn't really matter what polishing cream you use, as long as whatever you got in your garage, Mother's, this, Meguiar's, whatever you got. Um, when it comes to this chrome wheel, when it has rust, wire brush is how you're gonna get that off. Don't use the tin foil, don't you know, waste of time. Don't use a little, you know, brass or small wire brush. Use the drill like I did because that spins so quickly. I don't know what that one was, maybe 1000 RPM, 1600. That takes off the rust real quick. Now let's flip this wheel over. Wait till you see the rust on the other side. And we're gonna try that same wire wheel and see what it does. Let's give it a flip. Nasty, isn't it? Now this is on the inside, people don't see it, and I bet you, you take off most wheels, even on modern cars, it's going to be rusted on the inside. Um, maybe not at this level, because this is a 1989 wheel, but check out, first of all, I'm going to put my N95 mask on and see how the wire brush does. Then we'll try that sandpaper uh, pad that I had.
Well, so far so good. Not only is it satisfying and fun, look how that's coming off. So let me just switch out for that little sandpaper flapper pad or whatever you want to call it and let's see how that does. Okay, so it is called a flap wheel. I have it on. I'm sure direction does make a difference here. We'll try it both ways, but let's see. Actually, I like the wire brush much better. This, this looks good if it was to go on wood, maybe not metal. And it's one direction. Actually, there's a little arrow you can see right there. So, gotta go in that way. And you can see the rust flying. I would only really use this, you know, as an initial pass, but I would definitely finish with the wire brush. So let me hit it with the wire brush here for the next few minutes and let's see what the results are. Okay, so for my younger listeners, I'd use the term that is low key, a lot of work, way more work doing the inside of this wheel than the outside, that's for sure. Outside, piece of cake, just gotta have the right equipment. The wire, I know I called it a wire brush, so my critics, yeah, yeah, put your comments. I'm correcting myself. It's a wire wheel, but with the wire wheel, it does so much. Now, um, so much heavy lifting for you. It makes it such a fast job. Now, on the inside of this wheel, no one's going to see it, but I'm going to wire bru I'm gonna wire wheel it a little bit more. And as you can see, it's getting rid of that rusty red color, and it's getting down to like a dark color. Um, so do a little bit more and what I'll do, uh, I mean, I could leave it, but you could always put an encapsulator, same thing they put on chassis paint and then uh, spray it black or spray it, um, you know, on top of the encapsulator. Just make sure maybe you go encapsulator and then an epoxy primer for adhesion and then just do like a duplicolor black or uh, like a chrome look. Um, so, and you know, of course you could take these wheels, take the tires off and go get them chrome dipped again. If you're doing a showroom full restoration, but that's not what we're doing here. We're cleaning them up on, you know, the do it yourself budget, super simple, super easy. And, uh, so for me, I'm going to leave it, but for someone that really wanted to do a little bit, that extra step, do all this, put the encapsulator, put an epoxy primer, and then put it the paint color of your choice. You can do like a chrome looking silver paint, or you can go black. But you know what? The little holes in those wheels, you don't see through anyways, so it really doesn't matter what color you do. So let's flip it back on the other side and, and wrap it up. All right, well, we're flipped around. Now I can take the camera in hand, but I don't know if it does justice there that wheel is next to the right so that one right there I'm doing next this is the one we just did but this this one had the rust quite honestly that other one it must have been the rear wheel not as much um, on it whatsoever so that'll be a lot easier but there we go FJ 62 highly sought-after wheel that OEM factory chrome, my God, it is bulletproof. But um, yeah, easy job. Way easier than aluminum wheels, I'll tell you that. And that one, I mean, again, it's I chose a overcast day. It's not sunny. Usually it's sunny here in Southern Cal, but as you can see, overcast, so that we didn't have the sun just beaming off of this and we wouldn't even be able to look it straight on. But that looks pretty awesome. And that one's next. That's going to be way easier. It's more just a very light wire wheel and polish. But thanks for tuning in. And again, like it. I'll tell you, um, this project I was doing, whether I was going to video it or not, but my last wheel project got enough views that I got 
motivated by all you guys that liked it. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> if only 10 people liked it and it got no views, I wouldn't have bothered to do this one. But the other one picked up some, some steam. So thank you. Uh, and I'm glad it helped people on what products to choose. Quite honestly, I think um, I made enough money off of that video to pay half of all the materials I bought. But I don't do it for the money. I do it for the pleasure um, of sharing knowledge and helping other people make their project instead of a two weekend thing make it one weekend save on materials and get the right stuff and by the way on chrome wheels don't even bother getting that that's great for aluminum wheels but this it's actually faster and easier by hand whenever you use that powerball quite honestly you have to go back and go over it by hand with a microfiber when you're done so great for aluminum because you, you want that power but for chrome wheels skip it don't bother okay again subscribe to and like i said i'm going to put down in the links painting wheels and um, doing the that polishing and other tips for headlights how to polish your headlights in like three minutes if you got the newer plastic headlights that always go yellowish brown brutal people tape off people make it like a one two hour job i'll show you how to do it in three minutes and it's going to be your best results all right again thanks for tuning in and it was a pleasure making this video hopefully it gets some hits and it helps you all right thanks